determine the value of each of the branch A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So this is the information from the notes where the hint to solve this problem is by looking at the closest two point which is in this case is 10 D to E D to E and then proceed with the average and also simultaneous equation or algebra so the first one is average distance of A B C to D what is mean by A B C to D it is A to D plus B to D plus C to D divided by 3 equal to from the table we can see that A to D is 39 B to D is 41 C to D is 18 and this is it ok so 39 plus 41 plus 18 divided by 3 is equal to 32.7 and this one is where we look at the branch where A to D a to D is A, F, G and D. B to D is B, F, G, D. C to D is C, G, D. So, this one is what we simplify from this equation. 3G plus 3D plus A plus B plus C plus 2F. And then we got G plus D plus A plus B plus C plus 2F divided by 3 and equal to 32.7. This is the first equation. And then the next one is average distance of A, B, C to E. This is similar to the above. The calculation is similar. So, a to E plus B to E plus C to E divided by 3 and equal to from the table here A to E is 41 B to E is 43 C to E is 20 divided by 3 equal to 34.7 so this is similar by looking at the branch and we got that a to E is A F G E, B to E is B F G E, C to E is C G E divided by 3 and this is the simplified one, G, 3G plus 3E plus A plus B plus C plus 2F divided by 3. And then we got G plus E plus A plus B plus C plus 2F divided by 3. And then this is the second equation and then we can proceed with simultaneous equation. So equation 1 is G plus D plus A plus B plus C plus 2F divided by 3. Equation 2 is G plus E plus A plus B plus C plus 2F divided by 3. And then we cut G and G and also this equation in this. We got D minus E equal to negative 2 and D equal to E minus 2. This is the new equation. And then where do we get this? It's by looking at the branch that contain D and E. So in this case is D and E. By looking at the table, D and E is equal to 10. Then we put it here. D plus E equal to 10. This is the new equation. Okay. So we substitute D into this equation. So E minus 2 plus E equal to 10. 2E equal to 12. E equal to 6. And this value we can insert into this equation. Oh no, this equation. To make it simple. So D is equal to 6. E minus 2 D equal to 4 so this is the value for E and D ok so far we have found D and E which is D equals to 4 and E equals to 6 to calculate the next 3 branch let's create a new distance table with 
D and E is combined as DE. So the distance of A to B, A to C and B to C is basically the same which is 22, 39 and 41. But we need to calculate the new distance which is A to DE, B to DE and C to DE. For A to DE, we need to calculate the average between A to D and A to E. So, based on the first table, A to D, which is 39, plus A to E, which is 41, divided by 2. So, the distance of A to D E is equal to 40. Next, for B to D E, same like before, B to D plus B to E is divided by 2. So, 41 plus 43 divided by 2 is equal to 42. Lastly, for C to D, for C to D E, I'm sorry, it is equal to C to D, which is 18, plus C to E, which is 20, is divided by 2 equals to 19. So, we fill in the table and proceed to the next step, which is figuring the nearest distance uh, between sequences. So, we found that C to D E has the shortest distance, which is 19. Then, we can proceed to calculate the average of A, B to C and A, B to D E. So next, we can calculate the average distance of A, B to C. What this means is, it's the average distance of A to C plus B to C. So, you can put this in equation and then you can replace it with A to C. Let's see from this figure here, A to C is A plus F plus C. And B to C is B to F to C. Okay, so, because since these two equations are the same, we can make it as a linear equation to get the unknown. So, A to C is 39 and B to C is 41. So, substitute that in. 39 plus 41 over 2 equals to the simplified version of this. A plus B plus 2F plus 2C equals to 2. So, you get the final... First equation of 40 equals to half A plus B plus F plus C. Okay. Next, we can calculate the average distance of AB to DE. What this means is the average distance of A to DE plus B to DE. So, the first bit is A to DE, which is A to D plus A to E over 2. And for B to DE is the same B to D plus b to e over 2 and do not forget to divide the overall equation by 2 as we are trying to find the average distance of a b to d e and then from this table you, you can see that a b to d e a to d e is 40 and b to d e is 42 so substitute that in 40 plus 42 over 2 41 and substitute the distance of these four into this version which is a to d is a plus f plus g plus d and the same for the other three based on this figure okay so what you will get at the end is a plus b equals to 72 minus 2f minus 2g so you might be wondering what this 10 means here where do we get this from this is from d plus e because uh, earlier we found out that d equals to uh, 4 and e equals to 6 okay so this is the second equation we can combine the first and the second equation since we have a plus b here and we have a plus b here Okay, so substitute that in and then you can get 40 equals to 36 minus G plus C. So C minus G equals to 4. We can use any of the uh, distance here in this figure that have C and G. So 
for uh, in this case we can use C plus E plus plus G plus E so the distance of C to E okay C plus G plus E equals to 20 as you can see here C to E is 20 then we can substitute in E because we know the value which is 6 then we can get the second equation which is C equals to 14 minus G Okay, then we can substitute it in. 40 minus 2G equals to 4. Then we can get G equals to 5. The same goes to C, which is equals to 9. So this part, we can conclude that the distance of D is 4, G is 5, E is 6, and C is 9. <laughs>
since we have two unknowns here, we haven't solved yet. So make this as the fourth equation. Substitute this equation into the third equation. Okay. And then we get the value of b. Okay. Now we, uh, we have already b. Substitute b into the fourth and the first equation to get f and a. Okay, when you substitute b into 4, we get f. Okay, so f equals to 8 plus b, which is 12, we get 20. And then substitute b into the first equation, a equals to 22 minus b, which is 12. Okay, so we get a equals to 10. Okay, now we have a, b, and f. Then we already solve the problem okay we have already all of the lengths in this tree okay a 10 b 12 f 20 c 9 d 4 e 6 and g equals to 5 then we're done that's all from us thank you